Okay, are you ready to do the toilet today? Are you ready to do the toilet today? I'm ready to use the toilet today. Oh no. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, I've got some <laughs> cool stuff in store for you guys because we're not doing your typical install on this. And so uh, while we will be able to use it in this typical fashion, we will also are, be, are uh, modifying it to do something real special. So stay tuned for that. Okay, in the name of full disclosure, when you get to the end of your build, like where we're at right now, there's just so many small jobs and little things that need done, and you don't always have the camera on for all of them. Mike and I almost got in a fight because he did something without the camera, without telling me, because I was really excited to do this whole airhead composting toilet video from A to Z, like every single thing you need to do in the ins install. But he went ahead and got started on some of the wiring without me being there with the camera and I didn't know about it. So I guess we should just tell you or show you what we've done so far. And I got in big trouble. He did get in big trouble. Okay, so uh, you wanna catch us up on Mama Kitty, the one thing you've done jerk. so far. Wait, what were you talking to her about? Because the the little thing over there. Uh huh. It's way over there now. Oh, she moved it. Yeah, she was playing some kind of game with it. I think. I'm gonna modify this really quick so that it fits. Okay. So that's going to fit better for our build that way? Yeah, like this was supposed to slide right into that hole that we had made a long time ago. Yeah. And we had actually installed this a long time ago, but um, it didn't fit in the hole very well. And so I wanted to make it so that this fits just a lot flusher than it did. So basically I just shaved off the entire thing that would have fit band. into yeah. some kind of vent. And then I'm just gonna shoot whole screws into this and it'll seal because we actually used uh, butyl tape all the way around. Uh, this is so lame. Okay, so here I am once again under the bus in my favorite place. And uh, let me see the camera real quick so I can kind of show everybody okay. what happened here. So, if you see up in the hole right there, there's a fan right there. And that's the fan that comes with the airhead, airhead toilet. These wires right here, I drilled a small hole to feed those wires out so I could run all the fan wires under the bus. And as you can see right now, I don't have loom on any of them, but I will have loom. I bought a special tool. Another cool tool! So anyway, uh, so I already installed, we had drilled this hole probably back as we did the uh, subfloor, thinking we were gonna install the toilet then and then realizing, you know, we couldn't do that until we got the flooring down, so on and so forth. So um, I'll show you on top what I did. Basically the fan kind of just smashes up into the uh, shroud that comes with the airhead toilet. And I'll show you the shroud upstairs. But first we gotta put this on. This thing here we bought uh, back when we got the, uh, uh, when we drilled this hole, I ordered this on Amazon somewhere. I'll, I'll see if I can find it in my, uh, purchased items. But, uh, so while they claim that there's zero poop smell, I assure you that bugs are going to want to find this place. So I started by putting a screen on the very outside of this so that we didn't have bugs coming up into the bus right off the bat. So I'm just going to screw this on right now. That's one. Two. Ouch. Now, we need to drill down from the 
Uh, so this is two ribs. So it looks like these are the two ribs between the window right here. Yes. So Oops, that on. means we can drill camera. down into the floor from above ah, and not hit one of the floor joists. Let's put the toilet exactly where it needs to go. I think this is your moment to uh, explain what is the unconventional part of the install that we're yes. doing today. First, let me show them what uh, let's talk about the shroud. Okay. Okay. This right here is the shroud that came with the airhead. And this is literally like screwed in directly over that hole that came up from the bottom. And there's a hole right here that this pipe actually kind of screws into. And uh, we're gonna probably end up cutting this pipe to make this all work. But um, this screws into that and the airflow is out. It's sucking air out, okay? And so the purpose behind that is to one, when you're going to the bathroom, there is a negative pressure inside the toilet and that's good for everybody else in the bus. And then- it takes all the stinky air out with it. Right. The other thing it does is it keeps a constant flow of air going over uh, the, your solids tank and it's wicking the moisture out of it and drying it up, which is, makes these things work very well. The drier they are, the better. So now, we need to figure out exactly where this toilet's gonna go because this is where we're gonna go unconventional. So conventional use would be you mount your toilet in some fashion wherever you want it. And then you have and the then, lemonade jug. That's right, then you have the lemonade jug. And uh, this the airhead's unique because it has this uh, uh, spring-loaded Thing right here so when this is mounted to the floor you can lift this up and put that in without having to open up the container to get it there so that's kind of nice so this would be a con conventional install right here we're doing something a little bit different I think one of the chief complaints universally between the nature head airhead it doesn't matter is this nobody likes using that um, you're filling it up every two three four days something like that and uh, so we wanted to uh, try to avoid that. So what we're gonna do is we're drilling a hole in the floor right here and we're gonna pass this liquid waste down into our black tanks down below, therefore avoiding having to use this all the time. However, with the caveat, Yes. That if we were ever in a circumstance where we didn't want to fill up our black water tank, maybe we wanted to stay boondocked there for a longer period of time and using the jug could extend our stay before we have to go dump, then we're going to be able to pop the jug back into place and use it that way. So That's we're right. going to have both, the best of both worlds. We're, yeah, we're installing this so that we can still use the jug if yeah. we want to. Or have it go into the black tank. Yep. Perfect. All right. So, do you have a preference as you want this to go um, centered? How do you like it, sir? Oh, this is appropriate for the throne for me. How do you like the spacing? Go a little tight, a little snug, tight quarters? Not really. Like, mostly it's gonna be like this. Assume the position, sir. That's exactly I mean, what it's gonna be like. It's perfect. He's not even kidding. <laughs> That's it. And you drill a hole right there. Okie dokie. There's nothing less fun than wrestling this thing through the floor of this bus. Simba, it is time. Yeah. Sir, it sounds like you're losing power. I know. <laughs> Yikes. This bit is into the metal floor now. And so the metal base floor. There we are. So now you can see this part has gone through yeah, the metal. Yeah, daylight down there. This is the part everybody hates wrestling with the right 
metal in the drill trying to get through that. Sure makes a lot of in interesting smells as you go through the layers. That's true, it does. Okay, now we need the other battery. But luckily, I did actually um, charge one. Hey, will you put that battery on the charger here? Sure. Mama Kitty, did you come in while we were drilling? Oh my god, though. I can't believe it. You came in the bus even while we were making all that noise? Wow, you're getting so bold. Brazen. That's perfect. That's how you have to be to be a bus kitty. There it is. Nice. That was nice. Okay. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even think of that till after I said it. <laughs> You'll see, this is why I use that size. From underneath, this is how well it's gonna fit. Perfect. So, we're gonna fit this underneath. We are gonna seal it. Wow, see that right there on my leg? Yeah. That's why I got burned by from that the bit. bit. Yeah, wow. hot. So this will come up from underneath. We'll seal it in place. And, uh, and we'll use uh, the pipe uh, strap to hold it there. And then, we'll be able to push our pipe down into it. And because it's gravity and there's never gonna be any pressure behind this, water will just gravity down into this and down into our tank, no problem. So all we have to do is jog over, like I can see the tank right there. It's the edge of the tank is right here. So we will only need to come over like four inches or five inches to the left. So not much more than doing this. Except it has to have that whole other valve thing be in there. That's inside the bus. Oh, is where is it? Fit? I don't know. Somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. So that's what's the part that's going to show, basically. Yeah. So, like that. So that this is why this works. This is the only time I'll ever do that with this. Right, fresh out of the package. <laughs> <laughs> it goes this way. It can't go that way. Nothing. And that way... The, no air, no smell. No smell can come up out of the tank Nothing. from this. Nothing can pass through yeah. it in the wrong direction. And it's so, a one-way valve. Right. And so we'll take a small piece of the... Oh boy. I may have forgot a piece. Let me look underneath the bus. It's okay. Right. We know the way to Ace Hardware. Yeah, right. It's the place. First time today. First time Hello. today. Do you have any people with you? Yes, yes, we do. Our last one. We're down to the last one. Is this what I used last time? Strangely, it seems like it is. This is the downside, i.e. this, <laughs> that downside. Not the downside, the, the bottom <laughs> the side. downside. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to go to, like this. Let me tighten this down, it won't move. So, I do believe it's exactly what we need. I just have to cut this to then fit in just like that. That way when we put this in, we could push this down and it'll clamp onto that. Then this right here, we could put a small piece of pipe to go down into the elbow that we're trying to interface with down below. Okay. That's how that's gonna work. Here, put your R piece back in my purse. Nothing else? That's it. Nice. This is what I did on the other one. Are you doing to the piece we just bought? Modifying it like everything else on this bus. Everything, I mean every single thing. So we just bought this 
that came with this right here. So we're basically just using this to link the two together. What is it? Some it's like you tighten it like this and, and it tightens on here and the same thing happens at this end So we're just joining these two together essentially Like that Like that and so That's all we did we just adapted this to a pipe so that we can then bring the pipe down through the floor right here like this nice wow it's just perfect actually. perfect height like precisely perfect wow that's good to know yeah that worked out really well so now we go under the bus again. Well, it's not bad news, but it's driving news. What? We need a coupler. We didn't get it? Well, I didn't know we needed it until just now. Okay, so it's back to Ace Hardware again? It is. Why am I not surprised? I'm not surprised. Is there anything else you don't know we need? <laughs> no. Figure it out right now, mister. <laughs> I uh, underestimated that the ribs were going to get in the way of this. So we need to have a coupler to extend a small piece of pipe down so this can clear so then we can jog over and go down. Oh, I see. And I have just didn't know. A bit more. Okay. We just made our second trip to Ace Hardware okay. for a couple more things. I, I, a couple. That's what it seems like because I a couldn't coupler. do it the conventional way. It wasn't working. <laughs> Another new part. For another new project. It's a new tool, baby. Oh yeah, new tool. We'll have every single size of hole drill by the time we're done with this build. Yes. Once we won't need them anymore. You're crazy. We'll always need them. Are we bringing them with us? Of course. I don't know where my yellow ones are. these edges a little bit. Good enough. Okay. There's no way in. Even on my best day would I be able to hold a piece of sheet metal, metal without cutting my hand off. Right. Too fast. Fast for wood, slow for metal? That's right. Okay, what did we just do? Well, I'll show you. This supposedly should fit right through there. We have to wind it just slightly. We're gonna put a coupler on the other side of this. So this is gonna come through here and then the coupler is gonna go on. I'm gonna put some screw holes here so we can screw this up to the bottom of the bus. And then the coupler will be on the other side of this and it can't pull back through. That's the idea behind it. It's a keeper and placer? Keeper and placer, that's all it is. Nailed it. I knew it. I knew it all along. Let's go. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so we gotta drill a couple of holes in it now. Yes. Okay, so now... Hope you didn't cut it too short. So we don't have to go back to Ace for a third time today. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I probably shouldn't do this on top of this finished shelf. Right? Good call. Thanks, babe. Goopy. Quite.
then. Then on goes the thingamajig you made. That's right. Like that. That will go up through the floor, but it's captured by this, and then when we screw this to the floor, this can't pull down. Oh, brilliant. This on now. And it's gonna come over just a little bit, but I wanna see first. Take my life! <laughs> Back under again. You've been under the bus more times than you've been to Ace today. That's the truth too. So the flange works perfect, man. The metal thing you made? Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah. You can like turn it like this. So this is the black water tank that he's gonna have this pipe connect into. Yes. Okay. So I don't need too much paper. Okay. I'm coming out. Kind of what we did here and here. All right, it looks like you got it. Almost. The question is, can we get this all to go in at the same time? The whole contraption. Yeah. Here, can you take the camera and show us what you got under there? Okay. So, we just screwed in this piece right here. So we drilled a hole on this. We screwed this down in. Then we got this pipe coming up. Oh, up right here. And it's going right up into the ceiling. That's our bracket we made right there. So, we should be able to screw that bracket in. Everything's captured perfectly. And then we'll start working on the inside. That little, uh, what do we call that thing? Bracket. Bracket. This is just exactly right. It's like totally captured. It can't pull out of there. So, okay. Excellent. Right. The rest is easy from here. I say that now. Yeah, uh. knock on wood. You can do it, honey. You can do it. Tired of being out of the bus, man. That's the pipe right here. Oh, that's the pipe that we're seeing. Yeah. Okay. So, we need to glue this little piece into here. Where are the screws that came with it? Right here. And they are preset to go straight down. They can go to the outside, but they could go to the inside. Because they... But then you have the head of the screw. No, because they're... They're... Uh, look. 
you see? You're just marking where the brackets go? Yeah. Here, take this thing. Puzzle it. Exciting, actually getting our little composting toilet mounted. our little R2P2 all mounted. That's right. I love it. I do too. I'm so happy with this toilet. I love that we have a closing lid with this nice rubber gasket and a traditional toilet seat. So it feels like just like what you use at home. Yeah. And looks somewhat similar. I think it's a good looking composting toilet. We have to test the water flow. And straight to the black tank. Oh, I see. There's still a few little droplets of moisture in there, so rinsing with the spray bottle with vinegar water solution would definitely be important. Yeah, probably so. Okay, we're not quite done yet, but boy, the plumbing part is, and that is wonderful. Which, by the way, you can see that the seat has a nice rubber gasket, too. Okay, so... We have this thing. Where did that plastic piece go that was with it? Oh, right there on the edge. There it is. So, this will go here like that, I what? guess. Oh, this is where the hose connects? Yeah, because the hose goes on that. Right. And that presses in there. It just seems like there should be something screened off on this side. Is this important? That's it. That's it exactly. That's the screen piece that goes on. Let me see it. Oh, it has screen. Yeah. This just keeps us from having bug problems. So this goes here. And it makes it interchangeable in case you're doing it on one side or the other. Okay. So now... We got this. We got to do the. So let me do that first. So here's the fan. Okay, so this is how this thing goes together. Yes. Where's that rubber thingy? So here's the rubber thingy. Well, good. Now everybody gets to see exactly how this was installed. Yes. And the fan goes right in there. Yes. Is that, will you go turn on the fan? You don't, you don't know how to do that yet. Okay. Oh, that's a Gatbox fan. We have two fans. A fan for our composting toilet and a fan for our cat's litter box. Yes. They just haven't been mounted yet, but Mike will get to that. These are recycled switches that came on the bus um, front control panel stuff that we weren't using so we repurposed these switches here They make this kind of pieces so that you can uh, un Attach it in multiple ways Okay, so that's in place. Okay, so we need a piece of hose that comes down and turns a little bit. We gotta cut it. Let's 
It's kind of cool how it just kind of threads over this. Yeah, it's really cool. Why is there two separate ones? I thought it was all just... It makes it so you can separate it. Oh, it's a separator so you can take it out and dump the poop portion, right? Yes. Gotcha. There. So it goes like that, like that, and like that. Okay. Now when it turns on, it's sucking through here. Wow. I'll try that water thing again. We're set up, we're good to go? Yes. Yeah, okay, we'll try the water test again. How it did this time. No, it's dry. Dry as a bone? Yep. Excellent. And that all went down into our gray tank, or black tank as it were. This That's... is really cool. Heck yeah. And it looks nice. It doesn't look foreign or odd or like, ew, gross, I don't want to go to the bathroom on that. You know? Right. It looks totally normal, totally doable, just a different kind of handle. <laughs> a turn crank instead of a flusher. Yep. I love it. I love it too. I'm really happy with our choice to go with Airhead. No, no regrets. None at all. Yeah, I love it. None at all. Back when we first got this composting toilet, uh, we really didn't have any intentions of piping it to the gray tank. We were just going to do a very conventional install, but then uh, you know, over time, that changed. Well, because of the wisdom of other channels that we have been watching, and I think three different people at least that we've seen have um, very transparently told their audience that they had overflows from the pee jug in the middle of the night. <laughs> so that's when this started seeming like an even better and better idea to yeah. go straight to our black tank and not ever have to worry about either cleaning up urine in the middle of the night or first thing the next morning or whatever. So This was a really, really uh, um, feel good install to get this done. It's just, I'm so satisfied with this. And it's just all these little things over time I've thought about like, oh, we're gonna have to do this and all we're gonna have to do that. Check, 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 those are happening. We're yeah. getting very close guys. Hang in there with us. We're getting really close. 